Hi everyone and welcome to another video on Adobe Campaign with me David Hoy. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about how you can extend the Adobe Campaign data model, uh, the benefits of doing so and share some tips and recommendations for when you're carrying out this type of task. So just to get started, uh, both Adobe Campaign Standard and Adobe Campaign Classic come with out of the box data models uh, which allow you to store the most common customer data. However, uh, a common data model is never really going to work across the board for all businesses. So this is where you can extend the Adobe Campaign data model to meet your bespoke needs. Um, this could be extending the recipient table um, and this holds the customer level information um, and you can extend um, with additional attributes that are more relevant to your business. So um, it could also be creating linked data to your customers as well to give a more rich view. So examples here, we, we might want to bring in kind of order data, um, sort of transactional data, um, or more rich information about your customers' interactions, both on the web or, or offline. In addition to that, you can also bring in, um, you know, business data such as product or, or store data. And this can really help you personalize your communications with this type of information. The way in which you actually uh, physically create these uh, uh, extended tables within um, Adobe Campaign uh, differs between Campaign Classic and Campaign Standard. So in Classic, you describe the new attributes and tables that you wish to create uh, by creating schemas and schema extensions. And that's uh, done using XML. Whilst uh, in Campaign Standard, custom resources are created through more of a front-end UI. Um, and this allows you to create these new attributes and tables, as well as um, uh, screen definitions, all through kind of point and click uh, interface rather than having to do it in, in XML. So let's just talk about some of the benefits of extending the data model. Uh, ultimately, it's bringing more data into the application, which your campaign users um, can then use. Um, and it gives them a much better view of your customers, um, all within the UI, which in turn should allow them to improve the targeting and segmentation um, as part of their campaigns. It should also allow um, for greater personalization and relevancy of your comms that your customers receive. And it should also give some opportunities for some campaign production efficiencies. Um, ultimately, extending the data model um, gives your campaign users more data and possibility at their fingertips, and it should allow them to make better decisions and ultimately serve more relevant and timely content to your customers. So now I'll just talk through some uh, tips uh, to bear in mind when uh, looking to extend the Adobe Campaign data model. Firstly, I would recommend that you design up front. Um, it's very easy to just go ahead and uh, start adding tables and attributes to, uh, to the data model, but I certainly recommend uh, taking some time um, before just jumping straight in. So you can think about what data you actually need, um, how it's actually going to be used, the relationships between uh, the different data that you're looking to extend. And uh, doing that upfront can certainly save a lot of time in, in development and avoid the need for rework. Uh, don't look to bring in all the data that you have at your fingertips within, within your business. You only really should be looking to be bringing in data that you need for campaign execution. Uh, certainly try and think along the lines of uh, data mart rather than data warehouse. Uh, when you're creating the attributes within the tables, make sure that you're using the appropriate data types. Um, you know, don't make every single field a string if it's more relevant to make them kind of booleans, uh, dates or, or integers, then, then do so. Um, that can bring benefits not only from an efficiency point of view, but also a usability point of view within the UI. Try to make sure that your tables aren't too wide. Um, only bring in attributes into your tables that um, are, are going to be used. And uh, a good rule of thumb is to try and keep tables um, around the 40 column 
kind of mark or or, or more narrow. Um, narrow tables seem to or tend to be more more efficient. Uh, if you can summarize large data sets, so rather than having lots of uh, kind of raw data in in linked tables, if you're able to kind of pre-aggregate some of that data and and roll it up uh, potentially into the kind of recipient and profile tables, um, then that can help um, in twofold. One removes a lot of the kind of heavy lifting from campaign, uh, and also makes those attributes easier for the uh, Adobe Campaign user to use in the UI. Uh, don't forget about primary keys and indexes. Um, you should try and add indexes to uh, any columns that have a vast array of, of kind of unique values. Um, and also try and think about what columns are commonly used for kind of uh, querying and uh, data reconciliation activities. Um, add in indexes uh, when the tables are created rather than down the line can, can um, save a lot of time for those tasks and, and when rolling out. Uh, you should consider how uh, the database will be updated. So not only from a kind of practical point of view, um, you know, database tables can be updated through kind of nightly uh, workflow uh, data uploads, uh, ad hoc data imports uh, through the UI or from external processes over the API. So yeah, it's important that you consider um, how this data is going to be used in a practical sense and uh, the way that data is being updated, does it meet those needs? Is it being updated frequently enough? Um, but it also has some considerations around uh, performance as well. So try and make sure that, for example, if you're doing a kind of mass database updates overnight, uh, that you're doing it at a time when there's not a lot of campaign uh, production um, and execution going on. Um, I'd recommend that you keep an eye on, on database and, and log growth um, and have relevant processes in place to, to manage that. Um, you know, think about data retention, um, purging and, and archiving so that the database size doesn't get out of control and remains efficient. And then finally, um, I recommend that you kind of minimize the size of, of daily updates. I, I touched upon it. Um, if possible, uh, look to only be getting delta changes, only records that have changed um, since the day before, for example. Uh, this is obviously much more efficient than uh, sort of re-updating every single record across the board. Hopefully that's given you a bit of a flavour for how Adobe Campaign data model can be extended, uh, the benefits of doing so and some tips to help you along the way. Uh, there's lots of articles on the subject on the official Adobe documentation, both for Campaign Standard and Campaign Classic. Um, but if you'd like support on this area or anything else uh, Adobe campaign related, then please do get in touch. Thanks for listening.